Hi everyone, it's me, Conchita. This is the look that you're gonna see right what now. Again. Hey everyone, this is Conchita and I just put on a little bit of makeup and I'm gonna show you how I did it. Should we start? Yes, we should. Hello everyone. Welcome to my home. This is my living room and the table where I should do a makeup tutorial. As you can see, obviously, I'm not wearing any makeup at all. Except of a little bit of foundation and at least mascara because Andre forced me to be bare skinned will not happen. Here we go. I'm gonna start with my eyes and um, um, I would rather go for big and dramatic lashes than too much eyeshadow. So what I basically do is um, I do have this lovely Soeva um, eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna I'm gonna use the color pure, which will be this one. This palette really looks very messy. Andre could have warned me. Okay, and I'm gonna use my fingers because I, I basically think that this is the most, uh, that this is uh, the easiest way to do it. So I apply this color all over my eyelid. Oh, and what I did also is I, I'm, I put some loose powder on my cheeks because if you have uh, fall-offs, you just can brush it away. All right, so. Um, for the foundation, I, 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 I use this Bobbi Brown palette, which is perfect because um, I, my skin completely changes uh, during winter and summer. So each and every time the summer begins, I I need a new foundation. So this is this is. Can you hold it up higher? Oh, of course I do. If you're wondering, this voice belongs to Andre. Here we go. So I, I I use this because it's just it's just perfect for each and every season. All right. So we we applied some of the um, light eyeshadow. And now, um, the key to success would be a blending brush. Give me a second. Here we go. A blending brush um, is a very smooth brush, I guess. This would be the best description which comes to my mind. But I'm not a makeup artist, obviously. Alrighty, um, you, you, I mean, there are two different ways to do that. Um, you, you can apply your eyeshadow with an ordinary brush, like, um, like this one, for example, like this one. Oh, and everyone will get that. Alrighty, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, um, uh, an ordinary brush to to put on my eyeshadow and I would go in the color well the most important thing is you start start with the lightest then you get darker and darker and darker this is what I do this is how I do it alrighty so I would probably if we want to make it very um, very dramatic we could go quite dark with um, the color which is called Slow Dance. You hardly see it because I used the black 
um, they are quite often. Alrighty, so I put that um, in my crease. Really, just very, very rough. And on the other side as well. And this, you might think, oh, this already looks nice, but the magic happens once you take the blending brush because you're gonna smooth that out. See what I mean? It's just very soft and if that word is existing, I would call it powdery. Here we go. Uh, the same here. Take a while. Alrighty. So here we go. Oh, not my phone. I'm sorry. Look at that. Oh. Okay. And you blend it out, and you smooth it up. Almost to your eyebrows. Well, as you can see, I, I used a little bit too much on that side, but you just apply more here and then blend it out again. What you can't see, Andre is sitting right in front of me doing exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So, I mean, you, you can make it more dramatic if you now, as I said before, use a darker color. You Sometimes I do it with three different shades of, of the same color family. So here, this is kind of this gray plum, purple, whatever. And so to, to make it a little bit darker, I would go with this brownish violet, lovely Monday, called in the Soeva palette. So, and therefore you could use um, a, very, a very thin brush because it is, um, it's quite easy to, to um, paint a good, crease and to darken your crease with it because you don't want the whole eyeshadow to be too dark so you just go with this little pencil little brush I'm sorry it's not a pencil in German it's called pencil that's why it's easy to yeah. All right, so you follow your crease, and I don't know if, if that's visible, but it's really slightly this almost thin line, which is creating um, say it right. What is what, what? What am I creating here? <laughs> a crease. Exactly, I'm, I'm creating a crease um, and uh, a slightly darker one. So, and now, if you like, for example, about to go to an evening with someone and you want to look very fancy and dolled up, you could even make it darker with the same um, with the same pr procedure I just did, but even with uh, a blackish, which would be named Timeless Chic at uh, this palette. Or like that. Look, here. That looks so messy, don't you? 
Okay, and therefore, which I we, I thought that that really helps you um, creating this little cat eye effect. Therefore, I use the same brush uh, as before, and I I actually already did. You really start at the corner of your eye, and you create something like. Something similar you would do with a liquid eyeliner. You just go up here, like in the middle of your lashes, of the lash line, and you do exactly the same like before. See, and it's automatically a bit like a bit more of a cat eye. Here we go, I'm gonna say on an off eye. And don't be afraid. It's just makeup. And if you're doing as similar as you can, they also might look the same size. Because this is what basically happens if you... Oh my god, favorite word of the day, basically. So what's happening if you go, you know, to more and more and more color? So at some point, you know, I don't know. I don't know what you, where you want to go. What do you want? What are your, what? If you're putting too much color on one, <laughs> one eye. No, listen, then... if you, if you, for example, if you would start here, more like in the corner of an eye, instead of going right into the middle, this eye probably would appear bigger than the other, which is basically would look stupid. But it happens, and if so, yeah, just, no, but you, just own just it. Because, just because you said uh, it's just makeup, so don't worry. If, if oh. you're putting on too much of oh, it, you, you just, I, I think you, I mean, you obviously would see the difference, so you just try to correct it and, 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 and find the mistake, you know. All right, so. Well, this will be a very natural, soft look. You know, you already could, like, you know, throw on mascara, like I <laughs> already did, and you co could go out like this, but, you know, I'm a drag queen, so obviously I need to pop on some lashes. Well, I just applied um, eyeshadow on my upper lid, but you also can go, like, um, down here with, like, I don't know which color. Just a little shimmer. Here we go. To make it more dramatic. And actually, Nicole just arrived and she's staring at me. Not saying a word. Not saying anything. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. Next step, eyebrows.